Hi, my name is Chris Cooper, and this is a short walkthrough video of Motor Cruiser Escargo. Now, Escargo is a Bermuda 34, but uh, but she's far from run of the mill. She's in absolutely lovely condition. She's been in private hands from new, built by FB Wilds, reputedly for his daughter. She was never in a high fleet. She sits in her original gel in really lovely condition. So Bermuda 34s will be very familiar to a lot of people. They were really the mainstay of the uh, hire boat fleet for quite some time with their sister ships, the um, Caribbean 39s and, uh, and the larger 42s. But as you can see, as you walk around it, she's a long, long way from uh, from being aged and worn. So she's had quite a big, um, well, restoration is probably the right word, actually. There's a lot of original features inside the boat, which, uh, which are really quite lovely, if, um, if you remember, if you remember the, the era. And, uh, and the current owner has, has gone a long way, well, to quite extravagant lengths, actually, to make sure that, uh, that those features haven't been lost. But, um, but she's also been quite well updated. Um, for instance, she has uh, a Nani um, four-cylinder diesel engine and a new um, hydraulic drive system. She has bow and stern thrusters, and uh, this is a modern heating system. She's been rewired, replumbed. Uh, she has a chlorifier and uh, and a 240 volt water heater, as well as the original single point. Well, it probably is single point. It's probably double point uh, demand water heater. The main thing about her, though, really, is her originality. And the current owner has gone a long way, really, to to maintain that, even down to the. You know, FB Wilds, like on the back of the boat, Bermuda on the side there. She's that's the uh, that's, that's as it as it would have been. That's the original font and format. And I would imagine to a lot of people that uh, that will be very familiar. Windows are are all good and. Uh, and there's been a lot of care and attention really to make sure that she just functions like a modern boat, but has the feel really of a lovely, lovely old 70s high boat. And everything that you're looking at is original gel coat in uh, well-polished, smart, bright condition. I don't know if you can make out the Bermuda flag on the bow as well. She wasn't alone actually there. There were uh, a number of Bermuda 34s that were sold into private hands from the uh, London Boat Show in Earl's Court. But, uh, but I, would, uh, I would bet that she's the only one that's, uh, that's still around and looking like this. So without further ado, I'll uh, take you aboard and, and show you some of the features. So just opening the engine hatch on a Scargo and you can immediately see what part of what makes her quite special. So it's not unusual, I suppose, to find um, newer engines on older boats, but but it is unusual to find an engine bay, especially on a on a Bermuda or a Caribbean that looks quite as tidy as that. Not saying they don't exist, but you certainly don't come across them every day. She's got new batteries and um, you know, I think I mentioned new wiring and two lots of battery chargers. And she's a, a well-engineered boat by modern standards. So here we are, walking in the, uh, the companionway door at the back of the boat. It's a lovely curved top. And the panelling in here <laughs> instantly kind of brings back a feeling of, of uh, 70s nostalgia. 
sinking. All of this veneer is in excellent condition. Everything about the boat is in excellent condition. This is not a run of a mill old high boat. Far, far, far from it. And, you know, a lot of care and attention has gone into this. The headlinings look a, a absolutely perfect. Little modern touches, the TV mounted on the, on the aft bulkhead there. And we're going through into the galley. So I quite like this. I, I think it's got a kind of feel of the era. You know, this is how the, this is how the cabinets were made at the time. You know, there's a, but then we've got a, there's a modern cooker. We've got an isotherm fridge there. Everything's spotlessly clean as well. And that is, that's, I think it's really cool. And then we've got, Demand water heater there. That is, that's, that's ice. You can isolate that from the system. So that isn't the, uh, that's not the main means of hot water. There's a chlorifier, modern chlorifier and a 240 volt immersion as well. But, uh, but of course, actually, if you want, uh, if you want hot water on demand, then that is the way to do it. Oh, nod to the present there. There's a microwave in the corner of the, of the galley. And then we've got modern flush toilet, domestic toilet, and then a big shower compartment. Oops, I can't really get that in, but. I mean, it is, it is standard Bermuda layout, but um, for those that remember them, they're a very well organized boat. So here we are in the saloon. A great big sun hatch there. Not the brightest of days. We've got a uh, comfortable saloon sofa on the starboard side there, and that makes that makes up into a into a single berth. That's our helm position. I'll come back to that in a sec. And then we've got uh, table perfect perfect for the for the era really and uh and a couple of freestanding chairs now obviously that's a freestanding table so that can move around you can make a dinette arrangement out of the um out of the sofa i might just do that in a moment just to show you what's going on and then we've got a fold down berth and again i'll probably get that out for you in just a sec just to to give you an idea of what's going on there and then you got Look at that. How cool is that? All exactly as it would be. Somebody described this boat um, the other day as a timepiece, and I think that's exactly right. We've had several really quite nice boats recently, and, um, you know, quite exceptional boats, and she is definitely... You know, one of those. This is, this is not. This is not the norm. So, just going back to the the helm position. So, the the dashboards have been remade, but they've been remade in a in a faithful way. You know, this is the this is the same material, or type material that was used when uh, when the boats were new, and the steering wheel. And the vendor was telling me that uh, that she went to great lengths to source this from um, from the states. It's uh, it is exactly the steering wheel that was uh, that was fitted to the boats when um, when they were new, um, and it obviously had a, well, a slightly different wheel on it, I think. But uh, but it just wouldn't be right without the right wheel. But we've still got modern modern gauges in here as well. Modern engine, modern gauges, bow and stern thruster. Look, Morse control down there. There are some really cool little touches as well at the stereo. Look, it's a modern stereo, but it's uh, but it's got a very classic look. And there we go. Look, that's the builder's plaque. Oh, some other 
on modern features as well. So we've got uh, vault gauges, which are only quite sensibly laid out there. Some auxiliary um, sockets. And And then going forward to so that great big half well, forward well, that these boats are known for. And the upholstery is just in just immaculate condition. There's no other way to describe it. The whole boat is in immaculate condition. Canopies are, well, they're, new, they're well, if they aren't new, they look very, very new. The vendor really does keep this boat in tip-top condition. If you're uh, if you're a regular boat boater on the broads, then there's every chance that you've um, you've seen her out on the river, and she's used you know, quite quite frequently. Um, these uh, forward windows, uh, again, if you're familiar with the with the Bermudas and the and the Caribbeans, you'll know that they that they drop. You have to be a bit careful with the mechanisms, but. Uh, but that's a really nice feature actually, just to open them up on a warm day. And as I say, great big sun hatch, huge space. Right, so I'm just gonna pop the camera down and uh, and I'm gonna move the, uh, the fittings around a little bit and just uh, see if we can display uh, display some of the nice features to you now. Okay, so there's an obvious one. Uh, table laid out for five. It's a five berth boat. Loads of space in this saloon. Uh, there's also quite a lot of storage actually. That's something that I hadn't really mentioned. Um, behind the uh, the upright saloon sofa cushions. I might just uh, show you that one in a sec as well. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the berth down. They don't really do this anymore on hire boats, but uh, but they should because it's just a really good way to to produce a really good double bed. And they're easy; they're easy to deal with. You lift them up, and you pop them closed, and that's it. So saloon berth. And then what I was just thinking about, and I hadn't, I hadn't shown, was the lockers that sit behind that seat. So really good use of, of locker space. And, and there's a set of um, spares there, which is very typical of this owner. I've known, I've known her for some time. And, uh, and there's a lot of thought that goes into the way that she owns boats, um, very, very well cared for. So there we go. Absolutely unique experience. You really won't find another one like this. I, uh, I can almost guarantee that actually. In stunning condition, an absolute credit to her owner. Glorious throwback to carefree days of 70s boating without the aggravations and the hassles and the tribulations of 70s boating. mention the uh, solar panels on the top of the boat there. What a lovely thing. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you'd like more details or pricing information, then just head over to our website, which is www.mya.co.uk. If you'd like any more information, please feel free to give us a call. Bye for now.